Hey guys, Double Eagle with everything on it rev here. And today, I got something that's been heavily requested by you guys. So much so that I had to shout you guys out. To be honest, I'm kind of dreading it. World War II airsoft replicas have a really nasty reputation of being bad. And there's no better example than whatever Double Eagle is working on. Airsofters. Let me ask you this. Do you remember in the history books when the Axis were using red dots and lasers on their SMGs? Well, it was covered in Call of Duty and Battlefield. And are you looking for an SMG that matches your crappy political views? Well, the UK Arms M40 is right for you. I'll be giving this gun away to one lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. Let me know what airsoft gun you want me to review next. And I noticed that 66% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as that's the easiest way to know when my next video comes out and when I do giveaways. Now onto the review. Taking a look at the box and it is relatively small and has all the things that you come to know from a cheap stringer box, worn labels on the sides and features on the top. You even get to see all the amazing variants that are available. I'm so glad that I spent the little extra for that laser sight combo. Hey, look, this thing even has a hop-up chamber. That's gonna be great for those sub 20 gram BBs. Opening this thing up and... Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. It's, this is wet. Oh, this is wet. This is like moist. Oh God. Oh God, this is, this is gonna smell really bad. This is gonna smell really bad. I know it. I know it. This is gonna smell really, really bad. All right. Oh, these smell really bad. Oh, these smell really bad. Okay, let's go. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, let me just, I'm gonna take a sniff. Inside the wet box, you get a large stick magazine, an extended outer barrel, a barrel nut, Oh, I just broke it. Uh-oh, I think I just broke it. A orange front and muzzle, and uh, I don't know what this is, some crappy BBs, and the M40 itself. Taking a look at the M40 initially, and it's a larger SMG than what I'm used to by Double Eagle. It's made even larger with the extended barrel and that orange tip. Just make sure you install the nut, otherwise... Oh. That's exactly how it was intended. Once put together, this thing gets bigger, almost the size of an ARP9. Deploying the stock, and this thing is even bigger. The stock is really wobbly, and I don't recommend shouldering it at all, as it's just gonna snap right off. The entire M40 is made of the same cheap plastic, which bends and wobbles when too much pressure is applied. One thing to note is that the charging handle is very small and has tiny pieces, and can even be folded inwards. However, after racking it a few times for this video, it started to show some damage. There's another thing that some keen viewers might have seen when looking at the box and comparing it to what's really inside. And it's the complete exclusion of the laser and scope. I am so disappointed in this. Oh my goodness. I really wanted this to look like how it really looked in World War II. But unfortunately, I can't have that. To use this thing, insert the magazine, rack the charging handle, and pull the trigger. Taking this to the chrono, I get about 230 FPS. So what do I think about the M40 from Double Eagle? As a replica of the real thing, if you're looking for something that looks like the real one, all you gotta do is lose the red dot and laser. Or in my case, never get it, and you have a pretty decent looking replica for the real, real cheap. But taking this to the airsoft field, <laughs> I absolutely don't recommend it. The charging handle is starting to break and the stock is extremely flimsy. You'll probably get some games in, but it'll break right after. So no, I don't recommend the M40 by Double Eagle. Just stay away. I have some springers to review coming up and one next week from a company who has absolutely no business making springers. Can you guess what this one is? Anyways guys, 
That's it for this week's video. I really want to give a special thank you to my Patreon supporters who are helping bankroll this and other videos. I'll have a link to my Patreon in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more reviews like this one, and comment and let me know what you want to see next. I'm Revention, and I'll see you guys next time.